Today we are going to actually be dialing in some coffee beans that were sent to me by a subscriber of mine. So David, uh, I know you're in the chats right now. Thank you so much. Um, I am going to also be doing a dial in video because I know this is like the time of the year besides like Christmas time where uh, I see a lot of people on Facebook forums that are finally getting their new Breville machines, whether it's the Barista Express, the dual boiler, or just off offset or just off of the Breville line completely. Uh, it's pretty much the same. Uh, dialing in is the same process for every machine, pretty much uh, same concept. So I am going to be using these beans for the first time. Um, I had to pre-open them and put the clip on just now because uh, I only have one hand and this bag would be impossible to open up. So uh, if you guys are, stay tuned, or if you guys are watching this video, uh, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Uh, today I am going to be dialing in some brand new beans that I got. It's called Cafe 2150. So the, these were sent to me actually by David. So David, thank you so much for sending me these. Uh, and we are going to go ahead and dial them in. So we are going to be using the niche grinder. Um, and yeah, so enjoy. So I'm going to bring you guys over here. If you want to, or actually I can just bring it over here. So we're actually going to start by, let's see, here we go. So we're going, to, I actually am using the niche dosing cup right now, unfortunately, because I have to have it inside of the basket pretty much all the way in order to flip it with my thumb. But um, other than that, I would be using Mr. Thomas's that he sent me because it's a lot nicer because it doesn't sit in the basket and you don't get that much side channeling. So right away, it's really hard to show you guys. But if you guys can see this bean, uh, I mean, they're pretty nice. Uh, they're about a medium to dark roast, which I like. Uh, there's a couple that are bigger and smaller, but not too, too bad at all. Quality seems pretty good. And upon opening the bag, they smell really good. So I'm pretty excited to try these out. Uh, we're going to just be pulling some espresso and trying to dial them in. So again, this is the first time opening the bag really hard. I've, I've noticed that with one hand, I spill a lot of coffee beans when trying to go into this cup because I can't just do it like I normally do. All right, so we are gonna be doing 20 grams. If you're using the Barista Express, I would try to stick to about 17 grams, uh, just because, unless you have the new updated baskets, but 17 grams, I would say, is probably the most I would go with the Breville stock baskets for the Barista Express. Now with the dual boiler, the stock baskets, I always like to do 20 grams. So right now we are on grind setting 11, 12, 13, 14. So we're gonna start with grind setting 14 and we're gonna go from there. So uh, we're gonna see exactly where we need to adjust. So if you guys are just tuning in, I am dialing in a coffee. It's called Cafe 2150. It was sent to me uh, by David, one of my subscribers. Uh, and these beans, I believe, are from Puerto Rico. So pretty excited. It's a medium to dark roasted coffee. It's a one pound bag. So David wants me to be extremely caffeinated. So that's what we're gonna have to be. So we still got a couple beans in there. All right. Smells really good. Bring it back down. So we're at 19.9 grams. So, oh, 20 grams. All right, so I'm gonna keep you guys right here and I will show you guys exactly how I have to pretty much use this porta filter in order to dial in with one hand. So to do it with one hand, I found the best way is just to touch this scolding hot piece of metal. Unfortunately, you have to with one hand and just put it over the cup and use your thumb to kind of brace the cup and flip it over. So I just like to give it a couple taps here and then you gotta set it. Living dangerous here. All right. So now I can just kind of move everything over just to get it all nice and even. 
give it a couple taps. And then I'll bring you guys over here to the St. Anthony. So uh, I am also going to be able to give you guys a discount code uh, for Father's Day weekend. So make sure to stay tuned for that. It's going to be 20% off of your complete purchase for St. Anthony. So definitely stay tuned for that. It's going to be a great Father's Day gift idea for you guys. They make it in 58 millimeter and also the um, 54 millimeter. So it covers your Breville and for your dual boiler. All right. So I am going to be using my La Morzacco tamper. So I do like using the La Morzacco tamper for the uh, breeze to, uh, for the dual boiler. I don't like to use the Pullman just because with the baskets, the Pullman I think is a little bit too big for these baskets because the stock Breville baskets kind of narrow as it goes down with these baskets. Um, it, it, it's just a little bit better to use with the um, La Morzacco. So tamping is a bit harder with one hand because you can't really see how wobbly it is but you just got to do your best to try to make it as level as possible. All right, honey, do you want to, do you want to take it off that and yeah. flip it? So here, one second, guys, my wife's going to be helping me out. So if you want to take it off, yeah. there you go. Um, no, honey, just hold it normal. There you go. <laughs> All right, so I always like to flush every time I go to pull a shot just to get all that heat out, just make it nice and up to heat for me. So I'm using 205 degrees. Uh, usually you use this for a um, light to medium roast, but since it's a medium to dark roast, I should probably change it to a little bit cooler of a temperature, but we're just gonna see how this goes. that I tried making coffee with one hand. It's really hard. So kind of keep it off the table, otherwise you're going to see vibration. All right, so this is the first shot straight from the bag. Doesn't look bad at all. Um, obviously, we're going to need to go a lot coarser because it's coming out very, very slow. We're at 29 seconds with 14 grams. We're looking for a desired 40 grams in 22 to 28 seconds. But we're gonna let it run, and then we're gonna do some adjusting after. So we're at 45 seconds. I'm glad we didn't get a perfect shot because then you guys would think that I was uh, fibbing about doing get, just opening the bag. All right, so if you guys wanna look, the shot looks absolutely amazing. Obviously, it went, I always like to tap it just to get rid of those bubbles. Uh, nice tiger striping in there, actually. Uh, I am going to try it, but for all of you guys who are beginners in espresso, you're definitely going to want to make sure that you go a little bit coarser. So my rule of thumb is if you do any kind of uh, coffee beans, you always want to do like, I like a one to two ratio. So I use 20 grams and I want 40 grams out in about 22 to 28 seconds. I'm going to try this. Uh, I think it's going to be very, very bitter, but hey, cheers. Chug, chug, chug. That's actually not that bad. Um, it's not as bitter as I thought it was going to be. It is bitter, but it's definitely a drinkable shot. Um, I'm going to just use this for a cold brew since we're not making lattes or anything. This is a dialing in video. Set that aside. Uh, for any of you guys wondering, I am not going to waste that. I am going to be using that for a cold brew coffee. So we're going to go ahead and just bear with me here as I try to do this all one-handed. Does the BDB have pressure protection? Does it have pressure protection? Um, I think you're wondering if it stays the same. So are they talking about like bars of pressure? Does it stay consistent nine bars of pressure the whole shot? Is that what they're asking? Maybe, I'm not sure. I'll let you know. 
Who asked the question? Cafe Martella, Singapore. Oh, I think that's a CY. Oh, yeah, I think so. I'm just so used to seeing the logo, but I obviously can't see the logo right now. All right, so that shot, like I said, was very, very fine. So we're definitely going to have to go in the drawing board here. So we are, we are currently at grind OBP. size. What? OBP. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> <laughs> OBP, that's good, yeah. So. Yes. All right, we're on grind size 14. <laughs> we're gonna go to grind size 18 because I think that that is going to give us our desired output. So we had to go coarser in order to get more of a flow of coffee. So. All Here we go. Yeah, I encourage any of you guys out there, if you guys wanna challenge and you guys think making coffee is way too easy, and you get used to it, and you want to spice things up, just use one hand. <laughs> I promise you, you're, it's going to be a big learning curve, especially when um, opening things and trying to do everything yourself because you're a very independent person. <laughs> All right, here we go. So again, we went from grind size 14, and now we're gonna be moving to grind size 18. So we're going up four grind sizes, and this is in hopes of getting a uh, faster extraction, so that way the amount of contact time between the water and the puck is less, so that way your shot isn't as bitter, so. All right, just make sure we got 20 grams. We got 19.8. Well, we want perfection. All right, we'll take it. <laughs> Justin asked, when surgery? Um, hopefully never. So I'm waiting on insurance to approve my MRI so that a way I can see if there's a tear in there. I know that there is a, uh, there's two fractures and a dislocation, but I'm not sure if there is a tear. And how did that happen? Uh, softball. <laughs> All right. But he was safe. All right, so just kind of moving this around. Just kind of smooth it out. It's a lot harder. All right, here we go. So I'm just going to try propping this up with my leg. This is going to be a little easier than on the, bl the block. All right. Got some leg action going. Yeah, I got some leg action going. My leg's moving my porta filter. Sorry, guys. If you guys are new to the channel, I am so sorry that you guys have to put up with the um, one-handed barista I here. All right, so again, you're just going to want to make sure you flush that machine every time. Anyone have any questions? All right, so here we go. Here is the next shot. So let's hope that we can get this going for about 22 to 28 seconds. Justin you ready? Said, yeah. Justin said that he tore the ligament in his ankle, and your knuckle looks like my ankle when it was injured. Ooh, that looks bad. Yeah, that sounds off. <laughs> All right. So really nice looking shot. This one's a lot better. So we are looking at 34, 35, 36, or 7, 38, 40 grams in 31 seconds. So I think we can go one step further. So we will, just because this is a dialing in video for beginners. But again, really nice tiger striping. 
Um, I mean, I'm pretty impressed. I mean, there, there was no channeling on any of the shots so far. So we're just going to give that a nice swirl there. Uh, you know that you have some fresh coffee when you have crema that just sits up like that, which is extremely nice. Also, when you go to um, uh, another sign that you either have old coffee or your shot was maybe under extracted, when you go to stir your espresso, so just kind of a close up, and it doesn't come back and look full like that, and you start to see like the black of the coffee, then you maybe have a little bit less crema than maybe um, that you want, especially when pouring latte art because you need that nice pouring base or canvas uh, to get that nice latte art, so cheers. Oh yeah, that shot's really good. Steve so, said great shot. so that shot was really good. Uh, since this is a dialing in video, I am gonna do it one more time just to show you guys the results. But that one was 40 grams in about 31, 32 seconds. We're looking for that desired 22 to 28 seconds. So we are actually gonna go to grind size 20. So we're gonna go up two more spots. So we're gonna go to grind size 20. I think that grind size 20 may be too, too much, but we're gonna try it out. So I would generally just go one step from here, but we're gonna try going two to see what happens. By the way, um, David said, Dylan, you should use a stunt double for tamping. No one would notice. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just like have my wife do it, but I'll put my face on her body so you guys think I'm still doing it. Pretty sure my hands look a little different than yours. Maybe. But I would be more than happy to tamp. Get my tamping skills. All right, so again, if you guys are new to the channel, I am so sorry that you guys have to wait for me to do all this stuff, but it is very, very difficult with one hand. So again, my apologies. All right. <clears throat> So again, same process. You want to make sure everything is the same. Make sure your scale is teared to zero. And then keep the same grams, keep everything. Only change one variable at a time. So what I mean by changing a variables is you don't want to change your grind size and change the temperature because you think, okay, well, this is a darker roast and I'm at too hot of a temperature. Uh, you want to make sure that you just change one variable at a time because then if you get the shot wrong, then you don't know which variable it was that changed the shot so dramatic. Ah, see why I said I will send you a self-leveling tamper. Oh, thank you. That way you can use it at ease. That would be amazing. Mm. Thank you. All right, so again, we are changing. So we first started our shot at 14 grams. We are now going to, um, and then we went to 18 grams. Now we're going to, uh, or 18 grams, uh, 18. Now we're going to grind size 20. So I think grind size 20 is going to be the best. Now I do get asked a lot from beginners, what's the best grind size for this espresso bean or for this machine or for, uh, for yeah. The, the answer to that question is, is uh, the best way to know is just by dialing in just like this because everyone's machine is different un unfortunately and there's really no right answer to or correct answer that I can give you for dialing in help just because I could have the same exact bean as you have and we could dial it in and our grind size could be totally different but I'm showing you guys the process here on live so you guys can see behind the scenes and everything. I think this is gonna help a beginner a lot. Okay, so I'll put this down here. I tell you, the other day I actually went to just go pull a shot off of camera and I completely dumped my entire portafilter <laughs> on my rug and that was <laughs> I awful. Know that. Yeah. When did that happen? Two days ago. Yeah, it was awful. Not only did I waste coffee, but it just makes you just feel awful. You think you got a shot going, about to get a shot of espresso, and then you got to wait a little longer. All right. So again, 
Also, if you guys are beginners, you want to make sure that it looks pretty good in there, that there is no imperfections. You're not going to see any kind of gaps along the edge here. You see how it's nice and uh, covered because that is going to make a big difference with channeling. All right, so again, I know it's repetitive, but it's always good to be repetitive. Make sure to flush that machine. And then I always just like to wipe because I'm, I don't like my scale to get wet. Even though this is water resistant, but I just like to take care of my stuff. All right. So here we go. Let's hope for that perfect timing of our shot. So again, this is going a little bit coarser. So came right together. No channeling right now. Really good looking shot. Nice looking crema. It's coming out at a perfect rate there. I think this is actually the perfect grind size. So yeah, 28 seconds, 40 grams. Uh, you can't beat that shot. So uh, as you saw, it took me three shots to get the perfect, Third time's a charm. perfect espresso. But really nice looking shot. Uh, if you can see, the crema is very, very nice. Uh, comes right back together every time. So really, really good looking shot. No channeling, uh, thankfully. So it looks like my one-handed work is somewhat paying off. So again, if you guys are new to espresso, uh, you guys are new to your machines, you guys just got these for your birthday, uh, you got them for Christmas last year and you're just now opening it up because you were scared or you kind of used it, didn't like it because you weren't getting good shots and you put it away, make sure to go grab that machine, turn it back on and start practicing again because once you get the workflow down, it's really, really easy. Uh, I'm on Instagram as well, so if you guys need any kind of further help, I will go live with you one-on-one -on -one or on live so other people can watch our live video as well, and I will walk you through step-by-step -step on how to dial in your espresso or if you're having trouble frothing milk or just have a general question, um, just make sure to reach out to me on Instagram at Dylan Licka. so uh, cheers. Very, very smooth, very... Um, rich. I would definitely use this as uh, either Americano or probably eat. Bye, Bye CY. Have a good night. I know it's probably really late for him. Yeah, he said, I, uh, okay guys, have a great day. I gotta go and conduct lessons. Bye, Dylan. I will send you that cookie press. I think you need it now more than ever. Thank you so much, CY. So if you guys don't know, CY also sells different coffee equipment. So uh, make sure to reach out to him. I think it's Cafe Martella is his company. Yeah. Or Speedy 3D Creations is his company. Uh, so make sure to check him out. I know he sells the Turnin or known as the DF64, uh, which is the new grinder. It's a 64 millimeter flat burr, I believe. Um, so definitely check him out as well. His company's great, great customer service. So this shot, going back to it. So definitely would use that in a latte. Uh, maybe in a cold brew. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily drink it as espresso unless you like more of like a bolder taste. Um, however, I mean, it is smooth. It's not bitter. It's not sour. It's actually really good. But if you're new to the machine or new to any kind of espresso, uh, if you're dialing in your espresso, just make sure that if the finer you go, the less coffee that's going to come out the coarser you go, the more coffee that's going to come out. So like we, like we did there, we started out with the niche. We went at a grind size of 14 and it came out way too slow. So I think we got our 40 grams in like 45 or 50 seconds, which is extremely bitter. So the more the water stays in contact with the puck, the more bitter your coffee is going to be. Now we had to adjust. So we adjusted from grind size 14 to 18. So we went coarser. Uh, which was a pretty big jump, but we were pretty far away. So um, then we went to 40 grams in, I believe, 31 to 32 seconds. So that one actually tasted really smooth. I was actually okay with that shot, but since this is a dialing in video and I want to teach you guys how to dial in your espresso properly, I went ahead and did one more shot. And that shot, we went from 18 to 20. 
So that shot came at about 28 seconds and we got our 40 grams. So 22 to 28 seconds. If you really wanted to hit that 22 to 24, you could go. But I, I actually like the taste of uh, anywhere from 22 to 28 seconds. So we hit that 28 second mark. So definitely was really happy with that. So if you guys have any questions again, make sure to hit the like button on my video so I can be seen by more people. So more people who are new to the machines can find my videos to help them out. Also, it helps our channel out tremendously. If you guys haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button, come join the coffee community. As you guys saw on the live with CY, with Speedy 3D Creations, um, I mean, we are just so, uh, the coffee community is just so giving and so loving and so supportive. So again, I thank you guys so much. You guys are even supportive with my one hand because obviously it takes me twice as long to do the process with one hand as it does when I have both. So again, thank you. Also, I do want to, um, it's not, uh, you don't have to do it. However, there is super stickers and uh, super chats, I believe is what it's called, that you can actually donate money to the channel directly from this live. Um, if you don't, if that's totally fine, I'm totally, uh, I love that you guys support my channel just by watching my live. So again, thank you. All the money that I get on this channel is going to go straight towards uh, new equipment, uh, either espresso machines or just any kind of coffee tools that you guys want me to bring on this channel. I've actually purchased everything that I currently own with my own money so that a way I can give you guys content and teach you guys how to use your machines. Uh, soon I am going to be diving in more with the Linea Mini. Um, I am going to be soon starting when I get my other hand back um, a coffee uh, cart. So pretty excited for that. I will be getting my business uh, going off here soon, hopefully however long the recovery is, but I will be serving coffee to the community soon. So definitely stay tuned for that. I have not created a name in the near future. I haven't created a name yet. Uh, I am going to make a name that is pretty much with me, my wife, and my dogs involved. So stay tuned for that. I will be doing uh, different vlogs every single day that I do the coffee cart. Uh, I may only start out on the weekends, and then I might start grinding harder and go on the weekdays. So again, my name is Dylan with Dylan's Home Espresso Bar. If you guys are new to the channel, thank you so much for watching. Enjoy your night. I'll catch you guys next time.